According to the American Diabetes Association, about 15.7 million people in the United States are diabetic, and 15% of these people will lose their legs to amputation from the complications of diabetes. These complications include peripheral neuropathy, which may cause them to lose feeling in their hands and feet, and peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, which causes the loss of circulation in the legs and feet. These complications can lead to ulceration, infection, and ultimately amputation. To learn more about diabetic limb salvage surgical techniques and advanced healing therapies, we spoke to Dr. Maria Malone, podiatric surgeon and a member of the limb salvage team at the Northeast Georgia Health Systems Center for Wound Healing. Once a diabetic develops an ulceration or an infection, this can lead very quickly to an amputation. If the patient receives treatment quickly, we are more likely to be able to save their limb. We use a multi-specialty approach to treating the patient. We work very closely with vascular surgery, endocrinology, and infectious disease in order to treat the underlying disease process. By restoring circulation, treating infection, and maintaining tight blood glucose control, we are able to have much higher healing rates. We also use reconstructive surgical procedures, such as removing dead bone and replacing it with antibiotic impregnated bone replacement to maintain foot structure. If an amputation is necessary, we amputate at the most distal segment in order to maintain foot function. Dr. Malone also uses advanced healing therapies to facilitate wound healing, such as hyperbaric oxygen and biological tissue regeneration. Many of the tissue regenerated skin grafts are grown in the laboratory. They deliver healing factors to the wound to stimulate healing, and they can be applied right in the physician's office or wound care center. If you're diabetic and have the following symptoms, you may be at risk for amputation. High blood glucose levels, cramping or fatigue in your legs while walking that's relieved with rest, burning or tingling in your legs, loss of sensation in your feet, bony deformities of the feet such as hammer toes and bunions. By identifying disease early, we can prevent ulcerations and infections that lead to amputation.